Hi right, guys, it's Sunday and I want to do a week in my life vlog. It's a very realistic week because I'm working and tonight we're also going over to a friend's house. I'll be filming that but I'll film maybe to get ready with it. Get ready for it. And then just whatever else happens. I guess we'll find out. I think I have like 15 minutes before we're supposed to be at a friend's house, like hang out, or we go to like the party. So let's get ready. Like usual, I'm trying to reuse this shit that I've literally had since middle school. Needless to say, I'm 21 now, so is that, is that how I should have said that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Basically, the gist is I need to use this shit up, so. We're selling like honey wildflower today and always until this is used up and hopefully expired perfume won't kill me. I'm last minute finding a necklace to put on real quick. Low key, I packed it up, so I'm gonna have to see if I can find a necklace in here. Oh, oh, oh. her, so sorry. No clue. She's really cute though. Thank you, whoever left this in my hometown. Boom. What do we think? Too much? I never wear like jewelry so much. Giving me an extra layer of anxiety putting it on, but it's fine. And now we've got to like get going soon. Can you tell I'm still anxious? That's why I'm pulling out my camera. It's like a, a coping mechanism. I almost like said camera mechanism. That's not right. Can't speak. Maybe I should stay home. It's so weird guys. Cheryl is forever more gone. <laughs> like we're alone in the driveway. It's so weird. Okay, we got to go. I'll update you guys later. So we're out of the party and I'm shopping in Walmart now. I'm taking in. Believe it or not guys, we got everything in in one trip, which hey, congratulate us because you all know the feeling um but anyway it's been a great night but also a tiring night so i'm gonna sign off the vlog for today but i will pick back up on another day so see you guys later guys i'm not gonna lie to you it is like two days later because i did not film anything yesterday but today we're going thrifting before work so i thought i'd take you with me for the week in my life vlog First thrift store was like a bus, not gonna lie. They just didn't have anything for me. He got a couple things, like a Carhartt hat, that was pretty dope, and like a cool shirt. 
that was vintage, but mm -hmm. for women's, absolutely nothing. This, like, thrift store is one of the ones where they keep a lot of stuff behind, like, the counter for it being better quality for their workers. I don't know, like, I get it, but it also is the thrifter really sucks because I never get to get, like, the actually, like, cool Harley Davidson pieces. They keep those all behind their counter. I'm like, just a Harley Davidson t-shirt. So I have to like confront my social anxiety to see the shirts and I'm not willing to do that. Plus I can't even tell if they fit from behind there too. So it's like a little frustrating, but it's whatever. On to the next. So you guys know how I was complaining about at the other place not having anything. This place had borderline too much. But so much of it, I'm like, oh, this doesn't really quite fit me, but it's so fucking cool. Like there were these men's Levi's, like fucking long ass corduroys, but they're tan corduroys. They were beautiful. They fit onto him, but no didn't fit him <laughs> so we left them behind i did use like saw on depop all the time so not gonna lie the thought went through my brain but i was like the sizing's weird we're about to move i'm not trying to like make my bag on depop right now and also somebody else might find them plus they were like kind of a weird proportion they were like too long on mr 66 over here so uh, weird they had a whole bunch of harley shit it was pretty pretty fucking good and this will probably be one of the last thrift trips if not the last before we move here crazy okay guys not gonna lie it's much later as in it's basically time for us to go to work so i'm all ready and i'm going to mentally prepare myself now for work i probably won't get back to you guys until like tomorrow when i'm filming for the day so i'll see you guys then. so it's the next day guys i have the day low-key off of work because i gave my shift up and we are getting some supplies to make some kimchi at home so let's go into walmart together friends one eternity later. Let's make kimchi. This isn't going to be a tutorial. I'm just going to show you guys little clips of us making it because we haven't perfected it. I don't know if this is a good recipe yet, so I don't endorse. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm making this. You don't ask the questions. Oh, look how cute these jars are. Now I get the lucky luck. 
I don't think that's what I was trying to say, but now I get to wait like two hours for my shit to soak, marinate, I don't really know, in its brine mixture before I can move on with my kimchi, but my fiance is doing like a shorter version where he only has to let it soak for 20 minutes, so he's currently working on that, and I'll show you guys kind of what we're doing with that, but I'm just taking a little nature break with my dogs, because our dog got out again, so back to cigarette duties outside and I'm always watching them never letting them out. is just like leave it out for as long as you want it to ripen and I feel like I might put one in the fridge right away and leave another one out to kind of like test it so I'll let you guys know how that goes but I just want to update you guys with the weekly vlog to say that we're out at our like one of our favorite restaurants in this town to get food because we're toxic even though 
we've been really wanting to challenge ourselves to like cook all the time. We're toxic and can't help ourselves. We're at Osaki. Um, you can't really see the sign. So I don't know, I even tried to show you. Sorry about that. Um, but basically we're getting like a hibachi platter with lobster, steak, chicken, and shrimp. It's like pretty expensive, but if you get hibachi dinner things separately and you want lobster, it's more expensive. So like, duh. You also get like hibachi vegetables, two things of rice, two things of like their salad, and then two things of their soup. Anyway, I'm waiting for my food and I'm lonely. So that's why I was updating the vlog. See you guys later. <laughs> you spotted me recording him. The food is here. Platter and the wrist. I'm so excited. Black, this is a fuck ton of food and we're gonna smash it all. So, like I said, it's like a little bit expensive, but is it worth it? To me, absolutely. But am I toxic? Absolutely. I will spend all the money on food, like no money on pretty much everything. <laughs> Here's the spread, guys. I'm gonna smash and then I'll show you guys the kimchi later and then probably in the vlog because this thing is gonna be so long, it's not even funny. Okay, guys, so it's about three o'clock and we have finished eating our lunch and it's time to check out some of our fucking kimchi. So this is mine that I made, which is like green bean and green onion and just like the marinade that I made it in. I made two containers of that and then he did a slightly different marinade recipe and he did cucumbers, carrots, and onions, just regular onions. And his is like two and a half containers. And I think I'm going to leave one out, I don't know which one, um, to ferment a little bit longer just as like a test. And then I'm going to put one in the fridge and try it now and see how we like it. So let's go. I'm kind of scared, but I'm also very excited. Smells like really good low key. Like I like opened it guys and I'm like smell that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's something try it? So this will go in the fridge for basically my entire shift tonight. I work from like five to question mark because I'm a server. Um, so basically I'll have this go in. I'll probably fucking eat the fuck out of this when I get home. And then I'll let one ferment out just a little bit longer. But it's so crazy cool to see how like you guys know the liquid is basically like here and it rose like this not even like a day later because i've only really let mine sit almost like 20 hours at this point so kind of fucking crazy honestly <laughs> Hey guys, so it's Sunday and it's technically the start of a new week, but I promised you I'd update you on the kimchi that I had fermenting um, in my cabinet for an extra day, which I promise you, I only left it in an extra day um, and then I put it in the fridge. And here she is and we're gonna taste test her real quick together. Oh, that's not it. That's my fiance's one that was fermenting. This one is mine. <laughs> I told you guys that I would taste test it with you together and this is gonna be the last clip of what I'm like doing this week. So we're just gonna taste test it and see how it is. That makes me feel good about it being sealed, I guess. I wasn't 100% sure, but now I'm fairly certain. That's really good. It might be worth it every time I make kimchi to leave it in at least like the extra day shit. I kind of wanted there to be like no difference, but I'm like, ooh. And you have to keep in mind, this is like an extra day of it just being in the fridge too sitting that I haven't tried it or even opened it. So 
maybe that helped too i don't fucking know i have no idea this is not an information channel let's put this back in the fridge anyways thank you guys so much for coming along with me in this week in my life it was very productive for a week in my life and we did a lot of different things that i don't usually do but i hope you guys really enjoyed coming along and stay tuned every wednesday and saturday for new content see you later